In this video, if you are an OFW, can you start your own laundry business? Can it be profitable? Can you monitor it wherever you are in the world? If you want to know more, we have our expert Joyce Yo, laundry queen of the Philippines, <laughs> talking about it. So check this video out. Hi guys, please subscribe to Marvin Jervas channel and hit the bell for notifications. Oh, please, <laughs> parang awa mo na. And stay till the end kasi <laughs> titignan natin paano siya umaman sa laundry mat. Sobrang galing, sobrang galing niya guys, sobra. As in, kahit ako ngayon, feeling ko mahirap ako. So, stay till the end, stay till the end. <laughs> Hey guys, so we are in this third part of our series with super, 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 super laundry expert Joyce Yo, CEO, founder of Doctors Spin Doctor. Doctors Spin. Doctors Spin, magkamali pa ako. Doctors Spin, baka iba yung punta nyo na laundry shop. Okay, Doctors Spin. So this is the third part. If you missed the previous videos, the first video we talked about yung uh, basics of how you can open your own laundry mat business. And the second one is the problems of a laundry business. This is the third part. If you missed it, I'll make a playlist na lang. You can see everything there. You can watch the videos. Kung napanood mo na to, nasa third video ka na, comment below if you are learning from her expertise. Kahit ako guys, sobrang hindi lang madami na tututunan ko, na-realize ko sobrang yaman niya. Sobra, sobra, sobra. We have a lot of people who are overseas na either doon na sila nakatira ng matagal or nag-work sila doon. The normal questions that they would normally ask is, uh, pwede ba ako mag-start ng sarili kong business pag nasa abroad ako tapos papabantay ko sa Pilipinas? So, what's your suggestion, laundry shop-wise, for people who want to do that? Ang nangyayari kasi is, they want to own a business para in the long run, pwede na silang umuwi ng Pinas for good. Palagi kong pinapayo sa mga OFW natin is, kapag nag-set up sila ng business dito, kailangan may someone sila din also na mag-overlook. But, um, included pa rin sila sa loop ng business na last. What I can say is yung laundry is pwedeng gawin ng, ng OFW but kailangan nyo niya meron silang system. What's the best way naman for them na nandun to be able to, to actually see na baka nag invento lang ng numbers yung nandito na tao. How, how, can they, how can they do it? Just to give you a quick background lang sir, I started a manual without okay. the system. We had the receipt and okay. meron din yung job order. Okay. So doon namin binibase. But the thing is you can manipulate that easily. Mm. So, nahirapan ako noon to counter that kasi laging sakto yung binibigay nila sa akin okay. money. Sabi ko kasi, hindi pwedeng mangyari yun. Usually, di pa laging may mag-over, may mag makukulang. So, what we did is we got a system. Yung system na yun, it's connected to the machine. So, this machine, the washer, the dryer, hindi siya gagana without the um, credit dito sa POS. Mm. So, connected siya. So, by the end of the day, ang mangyayari is lalabas yung sales mo for the whole day or for per shift. Tapos, isi-send sa'yo through email. Is it a propriety software or pinakode mo talaga specifically for your for your business? Or, ah, okay. or parang nabibili siya, nabibili siya by anyone naman? Ang supplier namin with, with this POS kasi is a laundry shop owner. Ah, nandun na so talagang na ano niya yung problems when it comes to laundry business pero madami sir nag-offer ng ganyan but okay. not as um, kumbaga mas meticuloso like them okay. kasi mas systematized and then ang maganda pa dito sir if you have um, additional na binibenta mo sa laundry like sabon and water or mga chichirya man yan or anything you can have the full inventory system so pag nag-input ako doon ng how much yung pera ko sa kaha makikita doon kung, kung nag-over ka and short masasurprise na lang sila so there's no way of say saying na ay pera ko yung nasa loob or okay. Okay. so yun yun yung to counter that kasi everyday makikita mo yung sales mo invest kayo sa technology, uh, sa POS or whatever software that you need also to counter check whatever is going on. Ngayon, you, we talked about OFWs, no? Do you suggest that yung hire nila, kamag-anak nila, or they stay away from kamag-anak na magpapatakbo? So, I suggest that you find someone na mapagkakatiwalaan mo. And then, syempre, kailangan mo pa rin i-oversee lahat. Okay. Kumbaga, with proper guidance pa rin na uh, with someone. Or... Pwedeng kumuha ka rin kang mag-anak na pwede mag-oversee pa din okay. dun sa tao na yun. Okay. So, hindi mo binibigay fully sa isang tao yung responsibility. So, with the incentives, gaganahan silang magtrabaho and they can be uh, parang loyal sa iyo. May ano ba dito? Madami bang na-short-short, na, na, na nagkakanakawan, may nawawalad damit? Is this something prevalent sa 
laundry business or like any other business naman, may mga modus operandi ba na, na, na pwede na nilang maiwasan from from things like this? Okay, so when it comes to yun nga, with Federation Nakao, hindi talaga yun maiwasan sa kahit anong negosyo and you can just minimize it. Mag, maglalagay ka ng set of rules and system. Okay. So, kasi I've tried nung nag-manual ako, yun nga, um, na ma-manipulate siya. So, with the system kasi, hindi nila maka-ano, ma ma-counter yung technology kasi. Kung baga, hindi, ni, hindi, sila kayang, hindi nila kayang maglaba when hindi na i-input, sir. So, ang mangyayari is may mga times lang, like, kunwari sa pagpa-plan siya, kasi hindi mo na siya ma-account, eh. So, we offer also iron service. So, hindi mo na makikita. So, you can also put CCTV, pero hindi mo pa rin alam kung talagang magbabayad pa rin yung customer doon. So, yun. Pwedeng thank you na lang yun sa akin nila. And yun nga, is one thing is um, i-incentivize mo sila. O para yung service na ginagawa nila, alam nila na babalik pa rin sa kanila yun. Very, very important yung CCTV. Para at least na mo monitor mo. Tapos ang dami ng maganda CCTV na ngayon na may mic na, tapos makakausap mo rin sila, tapos maririnig mo sila. And you can also talk na. Pwede ka mag-reply. Oh, ganun. May ganun, may ganun, may ganun feature sa amin. Oh, tapos ano yun, yung, yung CCTV namin, may infrared yun. Pag off na yung shop, pwede mo i-set. Pag 9 o'clock, kunyari off, sarada na yung barbershop namin ng 9 eh. So, uh, pag may motion detector yun, pag may kita siyang movement, ma-alert yung app namin. Ganun. Tapos tutunog din yung camera, may parang tatawal na aso. So, something like that. So, something for OFWs to actually see as well. That being said, franchise. Nagpa-franchise ba kayo? Magpa-franchise ba kayo? Then, uh, anong advantage ng starting your own versus uh, getting a franchise? Sa franchise, ang binabayar natin dyan is the, syempre, the brand name and also the system. So, when it comes to franchise, um, kumbaga, hindi na tayo may hirapan na mag-market if you have the brand name already and the system na subok na. Unlike when you start your own, syempre, makangapa ka pa kung paano mo siya papatakbuhin. But the good thing of having, of starting your own kasi, you have the freedom to do anything na, sa business mo. Mm. Like, kumari, gusto mong baguhin yung presyo mo kasi hindi nag-work. Pwede kang mag-market ng mag-marketing, gumawa ng ganitong promo without consulting someone. So, that's the freedom, kumbaga, yung kapag mag, hindi ka magpa-franchise. When you were starting out, did you consider ba also na mag-franchise na lang kaya ako kaysa bibili at mag-start ako yan for your own? Ano yung, ano yung pinaka nag-tip sa'yo na hindi, I'll start my own na lang? Kasi di ba medyo, yung difference also, may premium din also when you go into a fan and you go into franchise. Ano yung nag-ano sa'yo na, sige, I'll do my own na lang? Yung sa franchise kasi ng laundry, ay na, naging option ko din yan eh. But, kaso, dun sa franchise, ang lalaki ng kailangan mong um, franchise fee okay. and also they have the royalty fee okay. so sabi ko um, for me ang naging ano sa akin is parang gusto kong i-challenge yung sarili ko to put up my own mm -hmm. and para may may freedom ako to have my own system okay uh -oh. so sir yun yung naging option naging nag, nag decide ako na to have my own I know my own brand okay <laughs> and ako nalang magpapa-franchise mm -hmm. if I already have a smooth sailing system I still believe also may mga tao din naman talaga na hindi nila kaya gumasarili ng system eh. Gusto nila may manual na nasusundan. Sila yung para sa franchise. So kayo, magpa-franchise ba kayo? Sa pagpa-franchise kasi when it comes to laundry business kasi, ang pinakamahirap dyan is the starting okay. up. So kaya lagi kong sinasabi, if you surpass that, yung starting up, and then the first months of operation, nag-survive ka na, okay ka na. Okay. Ang, Ilang months yun? Mga 3 to 6 months. Okay, ganyan. Three to six months. Okay, okay ka na nun. Kasi magagamay mo na yung system if you are someone na talagang uh, nag-oversee kung baga nandun ka to, for the business. Okay. Kasi kung hindi naman like malayo ka mas okay na mag-franchise ka but it doesn't mean na wala ka nang gagawin kapag nag-franchise ka. Still, ang bibigay na lang kasi sa iyo is yung brand name and the system but you also have to work hard for it. So, ganito na lang. Magkakaroon kami ng part 4, 5, 6 in sometime in the future to give you an update uh, kung ano nangyayari sa kanya kasi yun guys sobrang ano it's nice na may, may mayaman tayo nakasama sa vlog kasi sobrang <laughs> sobrang galing niya and unbeknownst to many I'll, I'll try to end this video with this uh, we started with OFW so hindi alam ng mga tao Joyce was also an OFW before okay kwento mo yung OFW story mo naman sa mga uh, sa mga nanunod sa atin ng OFW kasi the reason why I want to end with this kasi yun yung pangarap ng bawat OFW na makabalik na na ano ah yung it's not a question anymore na makakabalik ka na makakabalik ka na bata ka kasi madami 
yung tao na pag bumabalik sila, matanda na sila. Wala din na rin sila mapakinabagan dito sa Pilipinas. Parang mamamatay na lang sila. So, yung, yung pinaka-goal niya na you get to save enough, you get to invest enough para pag balik mo, bata ka pa, madami ka pa magagawa. You can still not just contribute here in the Philippines, but uh, may enjoy mo pa yung buhay mo also. So, Joyce, yo story 101. Whoa! So, I started um, working with Cebu Pacific here in the Philippines. Tapos, after a year, nangarap ako na mag-layover. Kasi before, walang layover. Ay, okay, harap na yun. Okay. Okay. So, nangarap ako makapunta na ibang bansa. So, nag-apply ako sa Qatar. Unfortunately, natanggap ako agad. So, I stayed there for two years. But, an OFW life kasi ang hirap. You don't have, pag nagkasakit ka, wala yung family mo para alagaan ka. So, sabi ko, and then, naging, naging wake up ko sa akin nun. Lahat ng nakakalipad ko, sir, sinasabi nila na gusto ko nang umuwi, gusto ko nang mag-ipon. Pero, ang nangyayari kasi, they're spending too much. Mm. Kumbaga, pag-layover para ma-maibsan yung pagod nila. Bumibili sila ng branded bags. Mm. Pero, hindi naman masama yun. Dami ang kilalang ganyan, ha. Pag napapakunta kayo sa London, makilala ko kayo, pati na San Francisco, yung mga outlet, outlet na ganyan, guys. So, uh, okay. Okay. so not bad naman, sir. Okay, Just, okay. It's rewarding yourself. Mm. Pero, you really have to I know, plan it. Eh. Kung baga parang, you reward yourself, pero at the same time, you, you save something for the future. Kung baga, if, if my goal ka na umuwi ng Pilipinas, so ginawa ko nun is um, bumili ako ng lupa, ng condo, para which is yun lang yung alam ko, to invest. And then, sabi ko, I, I really, I want to have a business then when I, when, when I go home back. Sabi ko, ayoko na lagi yun lang yung marinig sa akin. I want to go home, pero wala akong ginagawa para makauwi ako ng Pinas. So, naglakas ako ng loob, I invested sa ganito. Marami rin akong kilala na kuro na nag-invest sila sa real estate, ganun. And then, nakipagsapalaro na ako to go back home. Tapos, um, nagtayo ako ng negosyo, the travel agency. Yun, which is home base pa lang that time and then nag RTW din ako shirt printing business yun sir <laughs> para magkaroon ng negosyo pero syempre business hindi naman talaga siya palaging okay so maganda dun is yun palagi mo siya <laughs> kung magagagawin mo siya palagi paano naging ultimate point sa na laundry business yung talagang sabi mo eto, eto na eh I want to be the queen in the laundry shop <laughs> industry. Hindi na ako mag-RTW, yung travel agency, hindi masyado. Kung mag-YouTube ako, pag-uusapan ko, puro laundry pa rin. Bakit laundry? Noong time na nag-RTW ako, nakikita ko yung laundry shop katapat namin. Ang daming pumapasok labas na tao. Samantalang sa RTW ko, wala. <laughs> Konti lang talaga. So, sabi ko, maganda talagang negosyo yung, yung laundry. And, and with the, yung past phase kasi talaga na, na ngayon, di ba? Hindi ka pwedeng, hindi ka makakapaglaba. Ganyan. Kapag nakatira ka sa condo, ang hirap paglaba. So sabi ko, talagang okay mag-laundry. Tapos, um, I did my YouTube para i-share ko kung paano ko nag-start para makatulong din to share kung paano rin sila ma ma mag-start. So yun yung naging motivation factor ko. And then final words for Filipinos na nangangarap umuwi. Yung paiyakin mo sila, okay. <laughs> oh, yung iyak factor guys ha. Yung Tignan natin, gano'n siya kagaling magpaiyak. Okay, okay go. <laughs> Last word for, ano, advice for OFWs naman is that, yun nga, if you really want to achieve something, you want to go home, depende po sa goal mo in in five years, so you really have to plan. Um, so first, yun, um, you really have to take care of yourself para you will be able to take care of your wife and your children, yun, and then to follow na yung iba. Kung baga, yung health mo, kailangan mo talaga alagaan. And then, sunod-sunod na yun. Galing, galing, galing. So, kailangan i-consider mo yung mga factors na yun when you're planning to. Okay. Kasi yun naman yung pangarap natin, di ba, sir? Yung maka makita mo yung milestone ng anak mo, yung ganun. May, may sinabi siya about planning, about goals. Ako yung plano ko for 2020, makasama si Joyce Yo sa vlog. Nakuha ko na wala na ako kailangan pangarapin pa. So, mga idol ko ngayon, Carlo Ople, Chinkitan, Joyce Yo. So, that's the end of this series with Joyce Yo. Expect more. If you want to learn more, her YouTube channel is down in the description. And I hope her story inspired you wherever you are. You can reach your goals of financial freedom. So I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.